Hi, everyone. This is Alex Trebek. Listening to Don Geronimo and Mike O'Mara is really putting yourself in jeopardy. So I never do it. Hello, Don and Mike show. Good morning. Good afternoon, Radio God. Hi. How you doing? I'm from New York. Hi. Uh, hello from New York. How you doing? Great. I just wanted to thank you for blessing New York City with the uh, Las Vegas style show. Uh, listen, the year of 2001 is going to be a busy one for us. Listen to where we're going in 2001 mm -hmm. for Las Vegas style shows. Reno. Reno, Nevada, biggest little city in the world. Yep. Sacramento. Sacramento. Tomato. Both Portlands. Mm -hmm. Portland, Oregon. Right. Portland, Maine. Wow. Very good. Ocean City, Maryland. Washington, D.C. Baltimore. And yes, New York City. New York City! Virtually every month in the year 2000, except January, right. we're going to be out somewhere doing Las Vegas-style shows. Cool. Very, very exciting. Cool. It's going to be exciting, uh, so come on out. You, you uh, live in the... Just a bit of news. There was a shakeup at uh, NEW uh, over the past few days as far as personnel changes. Yeah? Uh, you might want to look into it. All right, well, tell, tell me what's happening. What do you mean? Uh, supposedly the radio check that uh, works the 10 to 2 shift has been fired. That's an interesting development. Mm -hmm. Yes, and uh, you might want to find out why uh, Jeremy is not at work today. Does it have something to do with ONA? Yes, it does. Has have something to do with ONA and something they said about somebody's daughter? Uh, I have no idea. I can only uh, allege, but I, there's no solid proof. We can only talk in code. Right. Uh, well, I know. I, I know all about that. Uh, obviously, there was a shakeup, and... Uh, yeah, but why'd the radio show get canned? Uh, don't know. They can't go into... I mean, besides the ratings. No, no. Oh, well, obviously, I mean, with the, besides the obvious, but... You know anything about that? About the radio check? No, about ONA, yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, I do. But obviously... You know, a grand bit. I didn't tell you about that? No, and now I'm dying. When I'm did not I tell be able you, to function. When did I tell you? Right about Christmas Day, I think. Yeah, maybe on Christmas Day I shared that with Rob. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. Yeah. Good present. <laughs> it was a great present. <laughs> oh, oh. Are they on today? Uh, yes, they are. They finally came back to two days late. Ah, but they're not talking about that, right? Uh, they said that there was a shake-up and that there was... Many issues that they could not discuss. <laughs> yeah. And uh, the, they they made general overtures and uh, alluded to things that were going on. Really? Well, that's that's very interesting. That uh, well, I hope Leslie Gold didn't get fired because I I like her fine. Yeah. But uh, if she did, mm -hmm. mm, that's interesting. Yeah. Very much so. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for the info. And I'll hit you to the other stuff later. It involves stuff we can't talk about on the radio. Good stuff. N not real. Not that big a deal. Stuff we can't talk about. Stuff we can't talk about. Oh, okay. Right. Okay. Yeah, I understand. Okay. Yeah. Let me just write it down for <laughs> you. Yeah, I mean, I figure I, I can guess, but I mean, I don't know any of the details. Okay. Hold on. Just can't guess. I'm going to jot it down because he knows I'm so distracted that I won't be able to function without uh, knowing what's going on here. <laughs> well, that's interesting news yeah. from our. You know, we don't get any. They don't call us down here, even though we're on that radio station. No. They wouldn't share any information with us. Okay. But why would Jeremy be gone? That's why I'm curious. Where, where where would he be? Because because once again, he was uh, NEW doesn't have the balls to tell any of the disc jockeys what to do. So when the disc jockeys do something that's wrong, they suspend the program. They suspend the program. Understood. Okay. <laughs> okay. Right there. That in a nutshell is what happened. Really? And that's what I heard. Wow. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. Wow. Right. Way to go, ONA. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I don't know if I would have gone with it, you know, mm -hmm. yeah. having a teenage son myself. Right. You know, kid a little close to home, you know, what with having a, a child and everything. Yeah, sure. But, uh... <laughs> wow. Okay. Pretty interesting. Sure is. Oh, man. <laughs> so that's why I heard that they had their teeth in a ringer. Really? And why they were not at work the last couple of days. Oh, my goodness. That's what I heard. Interesting. And, I, and you know what? You know who I hear that from? Who? From nobody at WNEW. You hear it from your friend up in New York. That's right. From yeah. Yeah, you know who I hear it from. <laughs> I don't know. That's right. You know who I hear it from. <laughs> hey, man. Hey, flush the format Friday. <laughs> For those who serve. Absolutely. Okay. Fascinating. You know there's not a day that goes by where there's not an adventure, where there's some new adventure. Okay. Listen, I know that this is this is not even relevant to 99% to of the people who listen to this show, but there are big happenings at the station we work at in New York. And if they ever decide, if they ever just decide to take their thumbs out of their asses mm -hmm. and say, listen, you know what? 
WNEW, like it or not, is a radio station that's going to be in New York. We got the format with all the disc jockeys. If they ever just let us go and let the chips fall where they may, and I know it's be for you and me and for O and A and and for Leslie Gold if she's still there and and for Ron and Fez and if Ron and Fez are listening, we're going to be up there next week and I'm I'm planning on having a couple of cocktails and coming by and crashing the Ron and Fez show next week. Mm -hmm. You know, if they just let all of us go, right. They'd have a real goddamn radio station. They there. would indeed. It would be big fun and it would be interesting. Even with the sports guys on in the morning. Okay? Right. Sure. Even with a loser show like that. I mean, if they would just have the balls to take on the other station in town. But no, they won't. It would be better for both stations. Right. I it really know. would. That, that's what I don't understand. Uh, nor, nor do I. And now that, well, we can't talk about it. No, we can't. We cannot talk about it. We but I, I simply wish that they would now, I think, would be the appropriate time to say okay. Sure, why not? I think we've all got a new five-year plan on that. Absolutely. I would think so. I was always under the impression that uh, until that five-year plan was unveiled, that we wouldn't be able to talk about anything. Right. But once that was done, that perhaps things would change. I guess so. I, I mean, I guess not. I mean, I don't know what I know. Who knows? I don't know what I don't know. It was very interesting about Leslie Gold. I hope she didn't get fired. Yeah. Hey, give me Jeremy's cell phone number. Okay. Oh, never mind. I'll just call Ken. Hold on. I, you know, I think we got to find out. <laughs> Hello. Yellow. Yellow. <laughs> because Leslie Gold is a the lady, obviously. Who does, does the, 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 the business hours are uh, 30 a.m. to 5:30 p.m. Yep. You know, and it's 5:30, and they shut those phones that's down. Oh yeah. It's two one two seven five seven one zero two seven. Well, that's the request line. I'm not calling the freaking request line. <laughs> just trying to find something out. Uh, Would somebody grab me Jeremy's uh, cell phone, please? Just ask him. Our O and A at work today. The yeah, but the yeah, said yes. yeah, but you know, if we if we called O and A, they well, would then, only, then that's disaster. They would only be able to speak to us in code. All right, exactly. Right. And you know, they get all freaked out about that, and we don't get the information as clearly as we wanted. Right, anyway. and, and we can't give them the information as no as clearly as as we could give it to them. It's a mess. It's a freaking mess. It's certainly an interesting development. I mean, all the developments I've heard. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, absolutely. And, and, and all <laughs> in all, in various ways, yeah. <laughs> all of it relevant to this radio show you're listening to right now. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, F and A. <laughs> right, okay. All right. All right here comes uh, Charles Broy. All right, you got... Uh, I just spoke to Jeremy. Yes? You'd think we didn't work for, with him or for him. No comment. No comment? Well, why can't he just say, has Leslie Gold been fired or he, not? He wouldn't say a thing. What does she do? I mean, besides the fact that she had no ratings. Can we call, Can we talk to Ken? We have a right to know that. Well, would Jeremy go, on, Jeremy go on the air with us? Didn't want to. Didn't want to go on the air with Didn't us? Didn't want to go on the air. <laughs> All right, call him up and put him on 444, and I'll talk to him off the air. Okay. Very good. Okay? We'll do that one-way conversation sure. where I won't put his voice on the air. Absolutely. Jesus Christ. Oh, I know what's going on. I'm telling you, that's one effed up radio station we're on in New York. That's one mess of a radio station. <laughs> it's a rebuilding year. Sure is. Well, last year was a rebuilding year, Buzz. <laughs> I know. Like, every year is a is a goddamn rebuilding year. <laughs> hey, don't tell him we're on the air. If he's in New York, he can't hear us now. Yes, he can. He can listen in his office. Oh, I thought he was suspended. Again? Yeah. He's, yeah, he's okay. back at work. I don't know where he was when I spoke to him. See, the thing is, though, right now, as we do this show... If he's not answering, that means he is listening to us. Well, no, but he's got to listen to Opie and Anthony at the same time. <laughs> yeah, I know. But, I mean, if he's listening to us, see, he didn't answer? Right. He's listening to the show, and he's, cho he's choosing not to answer. So Jeremy is at the office. <laughs> because he's listening. That's the only way he'd be, he'd be listening. Well, then Opie and Anthony, who are on at the same time as us right now, someone should call them and tell them they have a free pass. <laughs> <laughs> they can say anything they want because Jeremy's listening to us now to make sure that we're not going to talk about stuff we shouldn't talk about. Oh, he's sure. listening to both. He's talented. How does he listen to two shows at the same time? God gave him two ears. Jesus Christ. <laughs> one, one show for each year. Calling Ken. <laughs> Okay, great. <laughs> now, because cause are you like me now? I'm just all yeah, well, preoccupied with this. <laughs> yeah, Jeremy's by listening. Yes, he is. Very good. Very good concept, Rob. No, no Ken. No Ken. All right, no one. Listen, no one at NAW will take our call. Well, we might uh, have to call O and A. 
If we can't get any information from anybody <laughs> else, then forced to. <laughs> All right, put in a call to ONA. Hey, Charlie, <laughs> call him and tell him we just want to... Ne Listen, come here. <laughs> call him and tell him we want to find out. You can ask them stuff off the air. Okay, first ask him if that is why Jeremy got in trouble. Or okay. why, why they got in trouble. Right. Okay. Then ask if Leslie Gold got fired. Okay. Then ask... Hold on, I'm going to turn the microphones off for a second. So, Buzz, uh, yes. you take over for a uh -huh. moment. Don and Mike are trying to get to the bottom of a mystery at WNEW in New York that could affect this show in the near future, in the distant future, here in Washington and in New York City. Beautiful. New but York. don't ask him that on the air. What uh, about the stuff about Arista? <laughs> don't edit out the part about Arista, okay? <laughs> Let's bury that. I would say it's always an adventure, isn't it? It sure is.